The automated shuttles we're using in our trials are designed for first mile and last mile mobility. That means connecting residential areas to transport and uh, commercial hubs. Uh, and that means elderly, disabled users can engage in independent mobility. It also means that existing residents might choose to use public transport rather than get into a privately owned vehicle and have a, a better and safer, cleaner journey. The technology the vehicle uses is based on a range of different sensors. Primarily, it's vision-based, but it's used, it uses a LiDAR map of the environment, a laser-based 3D map of the environment, to understand and learn where it needs to navigate in order to complete its journey. And here in Greenwich, they'll be operating in an unsegregated environment, so they need additional software and sensors to be able to do that. That additional technology is coming from a company called Oxbotica. In order to prepare the route for navigation by the shuttle vehicles, Oxbotica have gone through a process of creating a 3D laser point cloud of the environment. That means taking a vehicle equipped with lasers around the routes we'd like the vehicle to, to travel. It uses that point cloud to learn the route and then its cameras to navigate and localise once the route is complete. As you could probably expect, we're going to great lengths to ensure the safety of our trial. So we're doing a lot around the preparation of the route, so we understand what are the potential risks, where are we likely to encounter pedestrians emerging suddenly or cyclists emerging suddenly from the route, and we can control the behaviour of the vehicle in those particular environments. And we've only done some limited demonstration trials so far, but in those limited demonstrations, we've seen people are um, initially slightly anxious, perhaps, you know, unsure about how the vehicle is going to behave, but when they see that the vehicle behaves in a very predictable way, a very safe way, it brakes and steers as they would expect, they learn to enjoy it very, very quickly. And I think that's what we'll see in our trials. These automated shuttles, if they work successfully in Greenwich, and we expect them to, we think they can be delivering automated services in cities in the next couple of years. It will be a long time, though, before we can see automated vehicles that can do all of the journeys that a human driver is currently capable of performing. So there's lots of development work to be done.